Uh, what is it? All right, what is it? Tell me what it is. He's claiming that the Charleston, uh, the Charleston shooting was an accident due to drug use manipulated by Obama to ban guns. Rick Perry. When did he say this? Uh, in an interview today with Newsmax. All right. So here is an interview with Rick Perry from Newsmax. And I, have you listened to this audio? All right. Well, let's listen to it. We'll listen to it together because if if Matt has characterized this in the correct way, this is this is bat crap crazy. Go ahead. Well, that's always the the knee jerk reaction is that uh, if we can just take the guns out of the hands of everyone uh, in this country, these types of things won't happen again. Um, as long as evil and cowardice is alive in the world, and I suggest it has been and it will be. Uh, there will be people who have, for whatever reason, again, we don't know, as the President said, we don't have all the facts, and I'm not ready to, uh, to point to any particular policy, uh, but I know that we need to be working to bring people together in this country. Uh, it's one of the reasons that we work so hard in the state of Texas to create an environment where you could get an education. Texas now has the second highest uh, overall high school graduation rate in America. If you're African American in America and you live in Texas, you live in the state that has the number one high school graduation rate. It is so rate. very, very it important. Is so it, important it, it, it to this. It gives hope and it gives and, you a chance. And, and I, that's where I would like to see the next president of the United States really focused on bringing this country together, uh, allowing those states to come up with programs to improve education opportunities. As you did, but I do want to ask, is that, ex I mean, did he go too quickly to the microphone and blame guns, and uh, is this a, just an attempt to, to exploit a situation, well, in your view? Th this is the MO of, of this administration. Anytime there is an accident like this, um, you, know, I'm, you know, the president's clear. He doesn't like for Americans to have guns. Right. And so he uses every opportunity, uh, this being another one, uh, to basically go parrot that message. Um, is this, there's a debate going on today especially, is this, should this be called an act of terror as opposed to a, whatever they're calling it, you know, a crime, a murder, a terror? Well, Where, what's the line there I, in your view? I, I don't know. Uh, but the, I think the facts, once we get them, um, there were more people than that killed in Paris. Uh, this This was... Uh, this was a, a crime of, of hate. Uh, we know that. Uh, and, and also, I think there's a real uh, issue to be talked about. Uh, it, it seems to me, again, without having all the details mm -hmm. about this one, that uh, these individuals have been medicated. And there may be a real issue in this country from the standpoint of these drugs and how uh, they're used. I know for a fact. Uh, being a, a substantial supporter of our military and our veterans, uh, that the Veterans Administration, for instance, is handing out these yes. opioids in stories, massive yes, amounts. Yes. And then people question, well, why can't these young uh, individuals get work, or why, are they, why is the suicide rate so high? So, I mean, there, there are a lot of, uh, of issues here underlying this that I okay. think we as a country need to have a conversation about rather than just the... Re so, uh, let's get this straight. The answer to something like this is to educate black people more so that we can bring our country together. That way, apparently, uh, well, I have no effing idea what that would have done for those very educated people in that church. Those very educated black people. Apparently, if they had more education, somehow uh, the bullets, the gun wouldn't have pierced their bodies, according to Rick Perry. The accident wouldn't have happened. Yes. And then he goes on to call, uh, say, an accident like this. There is something so pathological. This, I know it's an act of hate. Really? Do you, do, you, do you have any sense of what the specific hate it might be? Or are you just able to go on the very scant information you have and surmise that it's the VA handing out opioids which could have prevented this, right? I mean, that, that's what he's saying here. Aside from being a completely incoherent fool, there is clearly, for whatever reason, and honestly, I can't even, I, it is, 
the thing that's terrifying about what seeing the way these Republican candidates are responding to this, you got to believe that they have a better sense of their base than anybody else, right? I mean, they have literally millions of dollars poll testing and determining who it is they want to vote for them. And for all of them to be afraid, pathologically afraid, to say the word race or to say this is racism, <laughs> it, 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 it actually makes me more afraid of what, what's going on in the base. And I have the lowest estimation of these people that I thought was possible. And it actually is probably worse because for the life of me, I can't see how the base of the Republican Party would punish a potential politician for saying this when this guy went in and killed these nine black people after telling his roommates that he wants to start a race war, that somehow this would hurt their chances to win the presidential primary, it, that makes me even more disturbed about who the Republican base is. He doesn't want to speculate on the 100% confirmed reason for this shooting. Right. But he'll speculate about the whole medication thing. Indeed.